Hi my honeys, welcome back to my channel. Como están you guys? I hope you guys are doing great. I had a fabulous weekend. <laughs> How was your guys' weekend? Let me know. We actually celebrated my dad's birthday this past weekend, so we just chilled by the pool. We ate a little bit of barbecue and, right? Barbecue? No, we grilled um, hamburgers and we grilled weenies. So we had a great time. And I got this in PR, you guys, yesterday. I got it out of my mailbox, but this is the brand new Supreme Moths palette by Artist Couture. So you guys already know me. I am a huge fan of their Supreme Nudes palette, which I have it right here. They also came out with the Supreme Bronze palette, which is honestly one of my favorites as well has a bunch of like bronzy eyeshadow looks and i love that it has a black and a brown it's definitely a must whenever it comes to palettes for me um and then we have the supreme nude so this one you guys i believe that this was the first one that they ever came out with and it is really really good as you can tell the shade mink i actually had hit pan in this and then i dropped it and it fell out and it broke sad day <laughs> but this palette you guys is seriously so good you can create so many perfect like those nice cut crease looks that are so in style right now um i love this and you can also create very bronzy eyeshadow looks with this one so and then they came out with the third one supreme mobs you guys when i got this in pr and i opened it i was literally like oh my god <laughs> it is so perfect you guys for me personally because you can create bronzy looks you can also create mauvey um, smoky eyes or something very minimal and more wearable honestly the look that i also created today is definitely a makeup look that i would wear for like if i was throwing myself a birthday party because it's not doing too much but yet it still looks very pretty or for your baby shower like this glam would be so pretty um if i was having a baby shower and i was having a girl this is definitely a makeup look that i would personally wear but you guys already know that i'm going to be completely honest with you guys if you need this in your life or not so she does retail for 45 dollars and she does launch um april 8th so on the 8th just a few days away here you can find them on artistcouture.com or you can also find this palette at sephora.com right yep and i don't know exactly when this will be in stores but it is limited edition vegan and it is also cruelty free which is one thing that i love about artist couture as a brand is that they are vegan and cruelty free because you guys know how much i love my babies my girlies <laughs> <laughs> I have three dogs if you guys didn't know um, Coco, Canela, and Chanel <laughs> Follow me on Instagram I literally post them I try to post them at least once a day every day Because they are seriously my children I feel like I have three kids at home Seriously, <laughs> they fight they poop, they need to go to the doctor, uh, you need to buy them um, food, they're hungry, they're thirsty, they need walks, they need attention. Like, it's seriously like a child. But the only difference is that I can leave and they can stay home and I don't need a babysitter. <laughs> That's the only difference, but they seriously are so needy and I love my girls. So anyways, I love that Artist Couture is cruelty free. So you do get 12 eyeshadows and you have some mattes and of course some of the shimmer shadows. And I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial, this eyeshadow look that I created today. If you felt inspired by this as well, don't forget to tag me on Instagram because you know that I love to see your recreations. Uh, yeah. Let's get started. <laughs> All right, you guys, so I'm going into the shade called Kinky, this one, and I'm gonna apply this all over my crease. So I'm already doing that with my Morphe M433. I almost forgot to hit play <laughs> or record, so ox. I'm so glad I caught it on time, but anyways, I'm just pretty much applying it in my crease like I normally always do. And I just am blending in the eyeshadow going back and forth. I'm taking the shade called audacious hopefully i'm saying that right this one right here and what i'm gonna do you guys is still use that same morphe m433 brush and i started to apply it just right here towards this outer corner and it's really pigmented so a little bit goes a long way just an fyi and what i'm also going to be doing is bringing it in towards this outer corner and we're going to extend it outwards i'm going to go into my urban decay eden primary guys i'm going to start to create a half cut crease all right guys i'm going to go back into the shade called audacious audacious and i'm just going to place it right here towards this outer corner just to touch this up so it's nice and soft and smooth 
smooth. These eyeshadows so far are blending so beautiful. They're very, very buttery. I'm obsessed so far. I'm going into this small little brush, you guys, from Jaw Cosmetics. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the shade called Royale. Royale. This beautiful color right here. And I'm gonna try to place it really close to this crease right here. And I just want this to be that color. So I'm gonna build on top and then bring it in to this other eyeshadow. I really wanna go into the shade called Sex Appeal. <laughs> so freaking stunning, you guys. So I really wanna go into that, look at that. So I'm going into my B Bella NG335 brush with absolutely no setting spray. I'm going right into the eyeshadow, so you guys can see that. And I'm gonna place this all over without trying to hide that lavender or that purple shade that we just placed so never mind you guys i actually covered it up because i thought you would be able to see it more but i think because like on the model she's darker than me so you can see it a little bit better i'm really light skinned so i just decided to just cover this up <laughs> with this with the shade called sex appeal which i'm actually obsessed with this color is so beautiful all right guys so what i'm pretty much doing is going into the shade called prestige and using my morphe e37 brush i am just creating a winged liner now i am going in with some um, setting spray and i'm spraying the brush and then i'm going in and picking up the eyeshadow and creating that wing and then i'm going to go into this luna magic brush and i'm just going to start to just move the eyeliner a little bit make it look more soft than harsh all right guys so i am back i went ahead and just applied some falsies and then finished off the rest of my makeup now we're going to focus more towards the under eyes for the inner corner highlight you guys i want to go into risque this one right here it's a nice shimmery shade. I think in like one of the ad campaigns, um, Mac Daddy had that all over his eyes. I wanna say that's what that color was. It looks absolutely beautiful. I'm just gonna run it through this inner corner in here. So pretty. Inside my waterline, I'm gonna go into my Tres Luce. This is their Intenso Liner in the shade Tranquila, because I want something more bright to make the eye open a little bit more. Okay, I'm gonna go back into Prestige and I'm just gonna run this, you guys, on my lower lash line. I'm gonna get it really close to my lashes. Then I'm gonna go back into the shade called Royale, you guys, with the same brush. And what I'm gonna do is just run this right underneath this purple shade and blend these two together. For my lower lashes, you guys, I'm gonna go into my Bad Gal Bang Mascara from Benefit. All right, my honeys, so that is it for today's eyeshadow tutorial using the brand new palette from Artist Couture, Supreme Mobs Palette. So obviously you guys know that I am a huge sucker for um, purple eyeshadows. Anytime I see a palette with purples in it, I literally, or like mauve tones, I literally automatically gravitate to it or I wanna buy it immediately. Um, so thank you so much Artist Couture for sending this palette over. I'm seriously obsessed. As soon as I saw their campaigns, I was like, ooh, I know it has to be an eyeshadow palette with purples in it. And I am really happy with the eyeshadow look that I did today because it's very wearable and it's definitely a makeup look that you guys can also recreate at home. I definitely didn't want to create something that was too difficult in case you guys were interested in buying this palette. Obviously, I've done this particular eyeshadow look look many many times here on my channel like the style of it we use about like three to four eyeshadows only so I really wanted to create something not too difficult for you guys to recreate at home if you decide to get this palette so I'm gonna go ahead and talk to you guys about the formula it is absolutely amazing it definitely reminds me of the supreme nudes and the bronze palette I absolutely love artist couture quality like their eyeshadows are seriously so amazing they blend like butter they they are not chalky whatsoever, which I really, really love in a palette because whenever a palette tends to come off very chalky, um, it sucks because I feel like for me, it throws me off whenever I'm playing with eyeshadows and this definitely did not do that. But I do want to say one thing, you guys, that this palette does have some kickback. So for me personally, it does not bother me because the eyeshadow 
quality when I applied on my eyes is amazing um, but there is kickback I love the color selection as well like the mauve tones this color you guys is seriously so pigment I can't wait to actually apply all over my eyes um, because when I blended out the wing liner or this smoky liner whatever you want to call it it was super pigmented and it blended very very nicely and i really want to go back in you guys and do this shade called risque i just really wanted to go into the purple shades or mauve tones today but i think i might do another look with this palette using maybe just this row right here and create something bronzy and very you know very minimal eyeshadow I don't know we'll see i definitely want to go back into this shade and apply it all over because i did see it on mac daddy's eyes in one of the campaigns and i was like oh my god that looks so pretty <laughs> it looks so bronzy he is seriously like the bronze king um so i just absolutely love when he does bronzy looks and they look very like effortless too i'm like how does he do that <laughs> So do I recommend this palette, you guys? Absolutely. Just for me personally, because of the color selection, I love purples and the quality is there. Um, so I would definitely link this down below for you guys. And re remember, whatever works for me may not work for you. And if you already have a palette like this, and I definitely say skip out on it. I feel like overall with the reviews that I do is a personal preference. If you guys need it, um, like I always say in my videos, I'm just here to play with it and let you guys know my personal thoughts. But it does launch on the 8th and it retails for $45 and you can find it on artistcouture.com as well as sephora.com so wait that's it you guys i love you so much and i will see you guys in my next video let me know your thoughts down below on this palette i really want to know what you guys think and are you going to be picking her up besitos i love you do not forget to like share and subscribe to my channel before you do leave today and i'll catch you guys next time bye